Y'all, it's been rainy uh, over here in Los Angeles. It's been rainy. I don't know if this is really my look. Um, well, my garage flooded, kind of. It's disgusting. So I need to bring the rug out there and like hose it down. Anyways, hi, and welcome back to another home update. Oh my God, it's chilly again. Um, but first I need to get this rug out because this needs to like dry. Ugh. Oh my God, it's literally soaking wet and I need to put my hair in a, uh, I need to put my hair up. But in the meantime, I guess I'll put this back on. I also have these giant rugs that I need to throw out. These were carpet, I guess not rugs, carpet that we used for the was pillow photo shoots. But I don't, I just don't think I'm gonna need them anymore. Like they're good, but I feel like I, I don't wanna shoot in a studio, I wanna rent a location. I just don't think, well, should I save them? Maybe I save this one. This one's pretty good, but maybe I get rid of this one. The brown one is pretty bad. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh my God, Jesus. Okay, now I can probably roll this thing. Come on. See this light right there? I just never use it. And I feel like I could get use of it if I brought it inside. I'm just never gonna turn it on out here. It does look good above the red art, I will say. But I think we should bring that in. So stay tuned. Now let's put my rug outside. My bangs are kind of fucked up. I really, I really have not been putting attention into them. All right, let's bring, let's bring out this rug. Remember this little spot where I had my garden that is dead, but spring is approaching. And so I think I am going to revamp back here. Just, I don't really have a plan yet. It's so heavy because it's so wet. I will say from all this rain, my rose tree is completely back. And this thing is like, it's still producing shit. It's just like missing a ton of leaves down here. But I think these could be revived. I don't know. Right. We need, nope, jet. Oh my God. Is it jet? Kind of satisfying. So I'll let this run while I'll let you guys watch. A little satisfying, right? Hoping for the best on the back side. Oh my god. We're done with that, so let's move on with more house updates. Because that's why you're here, and that's why you clicked on the video. Let's love be free. I reach for you, honey. Before we go inside, I do want to show you uh the pillows that was my little store is going to be releasing. We are releasing new styles this time. So when I show you these samples, <laughs> don't judge the fabrics because we're not actually using these fabrics. These are just leftover. This is like shining in my face. These are just leftover fabrics that we use to create the samples. So for example, like this one's so funny. This is a bolster pillow that we're going to be releasing. Not in this fabric, not, not terrible but bolster. We're also gonna be releasing a mini. This actually is the fabric that we're using for the mini. This is not the fabric we're using at the back or the trim, well, maybe the trim, I don't know. The little mini is gonna be very exciting. So those are two new styles. And then what I'm really excited about actually is we're releasing bed pillows, just standard bed pillows. 
So this one actually is the fabric. You can kind of see it. Let's see. Let's... Can you see that that uh, pattern? This is one of the bed pillows that we're going to be releasing. It's going to have a different backing, um, but very excited. This one's kind of just a standard where it's like the back is, uh, you know, that opening. Anyways, I'm very excited for this bed pillow. Um, these are hilarious fabrics on this sample because you would never lay on this fabric. It's actually, it's not that bad, but I'm excited for this one because it's going to be two different patterns. So a pattern here, a pattern here, and we don't have the fabric for this bed pillow yet. But again, just very standard designs, but it's going to have, you know, cool fabrics because that's what we do over here on, at Was. And this is kind of the board that we have put together so far. I'm partnering with Kate on these. So I'm excited for this one. It's very different. I don't know like what's going to be the lumbar, what's going to be the large, what's going to be the bolster. We don't really know yet. We're kind of at the beginning stages, but these should be launching um, end of March, I think, early April, end of March. This will be your last chance to get pillows. This is our last run because I have other projects in the work. Uh, if you don't know already, I'm having a pop-up in Chicago in June where you can buy these pillows. You can buy some of the boys bags if you didn't get a tote, come to Chicago. And then I'm also doing another partnership where we're coming out with a table linen series, which I'm going to uh, talk about as we get closer. There's also shower curtains. All these products just take a long time. So I was like, in the meantime, we might as well put out some new, new pillows since we already, you know, we're kind of, we're pillow experts, Kate and I. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you. Now we can go inside and look at furniture. Oh wait, no, I want to hang the Midwest, the Midwest Mobile. I don't know where to hang it. Let's play around. I think it should be hung in here though. I think it'll look cool in the garage. This is when you spend too much time alone. <laughs> okay. So if you watched my um, holiday gift guide, I feature this company called Mid Midwest Mobiles, Mobiles, can't ever say it correctly. And she's such a sweet lady and we've become friends via, via Instagram. Um, but a lot of you brought, bought her, her products. And so she sent me one as like a little thank you, which is so sweet. And I think I want to hang it in the garage. She made it for me custom because I wanted a very specific style and color, well, silver. So if you want one, I have her linked down in the description. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm just like, should I hang it in here? It's just kind of cluttered in here. Like I feel like it needs to be against like a, a white wall. I just bought a book on Calder who does these types of you know, mobiles. I mean, why can't I say that word? And I think she's very inspired by his work and I really, really love them. It's such a fun, like unique art piece to have. That's like pretty unexpected, you know? Oh my God, this is so cool. It's like, what's the top? Oh, here. Gravity. Wow. I just don't know if it, let me show it to you against a blank wall so you can really see. It's pretty, it's pretty big. It needs to be against a blank wall or it just doesn't like read correctly. But it's cute, thumbnail. I don't know where to put it right now. I guess I could fold it back up. We'll find a spot, we will find a spot and if we don't, it will go right there in front of the red art piece because I think that would look really cool. So we'll have to hold off. It is so cold out, I'm going inside. I've really been focusing on my room a lot. Um, hi, by the way, it's the next day. Um, I've been trying to focus on my room more, as you can tell from my last like home updates. I don't know, I guess like literally every cabinet in my place has a key and it's the most annoying thing. Oh, I should show you this blazer I got. Um, I went to the Pickwick uh, flea market, I guess. It's a vintage clothing sale out here in Los Angeles. Highly recommend to go if you've never been because it has the best stuff. And I went to this place called Ludlow Shop and 
now I'm friends with her. I'll link her down below, but she gave me this blazer. Wait, I could probably wear it. Should I wear this? I'm about to go to lunch. Maybe I will wear this blazer. Okay, well, we'll keep this out for now. Really all over the place in these home updates. Yeah, every cabinet has a key and then I have to lock it to keep it closed. But the main star of the show right now that I'm showing you is my new desk. Let's pull some of this stuff off. Close. That could probably go away. Where do I want to put these? Okay, they actually, they actually are gonna go right up here. Um, this is my little desk that I got off of Facebook Marketplace. I really like it because it's like a craftsman style desk. It goes nice with this but it's like a different, like this is our deco. This is more craftsman or like all American. And I'm very into it. I have this chair in my garage. I don't know if it necessarily goes. It's fine for now, but I would like a stool, I think. And then I do need a mirror. And I found this mirror off of Etsy. And I really, really love it, but it is pricey as hell. And it's, from Italy and I'm kind of like do I splurge and just get it or should I keep looking I just really love that it has lights on it so it's kind of like a vanity you know but I think it would fit perfectly like right here unfortunately there's this thing which I was thinking I could take off or cover it's not like I ever really turn this overhead light on so let me know what you think and then let me know if you think I should get a stool. I think the stool with like a fabric on it would be nice. I already transferred my makeup into here. Need to DW40 that still. Uh, I've been feeling off about my house lately and I was asking Kate because I was like, I kind of want to sell my striped sofa that I you know, I recently got that and I was like, do you think I should sell the sofa? And Kate was like, I think you're just itching to like design a space from scratch because my, my place looks good. I'm just itching for new things. I don't know. That's why I'm starting this new series where I'm decorating um, friends or subscribers homes. So I... Uh, we've already gotten started on Basma's. My friend Basma, we're going to be redoing her entire bedroom. So here's the mood board of that. Okay, now for the little side table, which I really, really love. This is Ikea. And, you know, there's like an $800 one or like $750 or something from Noel. I believe it's Noel which I do love to buy designer items, like designer furniture, not really designer clothing, even though I do have a pair of Gucci's. But I wear those like ironically, and they're kind of classic. But anyways, you can buy this from Noel for like 800, but I found it at Ikea and I really like it because it goes, I like how the white, oh my God, it's squeaky, goes with my lights, my sconces. So it kind of looks like this like one big unit I don't know, that's kind of the vibe I was going for. But a second one doesn't fit over there. So I don't know what to do over there. But it took me a minute to style this out. Actually, this doesn't belong on here. Knitting, I knit now. Um, I added some books down here. One of my little pillows, a piece of, a piece, uh, a magazine. I got this little art at the Round Top Antique Fair. I kind of just like threw it together, you know? Oh, and then, this cool candle company sent me this candle, PF Candle Co. I got like some random gifts this uh, past these this past few weeks, um, including these um, knitting needles that I started knitting last night. I don't even know how to knit, but I just. YouTubed it and it was pretty easy. So now I'm obsessed with knitting. It's like, wait, do I remember? I also think I made this, oh yeah. I also think I made this like way too long of a scarf. 
Wait, I really do like knitting. I'm like, what should I, what should I make? Cause like all I can think of is a scarf. You go under, over, down, click. I knit now. We are knitters. <laughs> DM'd me and was like, hey Paige, uh, do you want to learn how to knit? And I said, yeah, I do want to learn how to knit actually. Um, so they sent me this one I love. This like mohair one. This one's very thin, so I decided to start with the big guy. But they sent me a bunch of uh, fun yarn. Look how cute the packaging is. So I guess if you want to learn how to knit, uh, check out We Are Knitters. Um, they are pretty affordable yarn. Look how cute. You know, if I'm watching The Bachelor or whatever I'm doing, it's nice to know you're making a little scarf. <laughs> All right, I'm getting distracted. I feel like I've been very distracted lately. I've also been very tired. I think I'm experiencing a little bit of burnout. I feel like I've never really taken a huge break. I did over um, the holidays, but it's been very difficult for me to get back into the groove. And I've also had a lot of issues with waking up in the morning recently, which I never used to have. So um, let me show you my closet. I got a new little shelf and I kind of got pretty organized. So I'll show you that. Oh, and this hook thing. These look so funny, the, the knitting needle, needles in there. Um, yeah, I got this, uh, I'll put this on for no reason. I got the, I thrifted this in Michigan. I, I never wear it and I don't even know if I really like it. But anyways, I got this coat rack when I traveled last summer in Europe, in Paris, I think I got it. And I haven't hung it because I didn't know where to hang it and it just like kind of sat in my garage and uh, now it's there which is which is nice because I had nowhere really to hang a coat because I didn't have a, a coat rack in the front hall either so there's that that's a fun that's a fun home update let me just turn you this is my closet and basically all I've really done in here is add this but I used to have two wicker baskets that were my side table and it had all of my tank tops. So when I got a real side table, now my tank tops live here. We've got shorts, we've got workout gear, we've got sweaters, sweatshirts, boots. Laundry is just piled on the floor over here. I need a I need a laundry basket. And then these are my pants. You can't really see. It's not that exciting. Shoes up on the top shelf, which I know people, I feel like, comment on that because in my Chicago place, uh, we stored shoes up high, but sometimes, like, what? I'm not going to be able to reach for, like, sweaters up there, so I just put shoes. There's no other, there's no other room for that. We like this jacket. Let me show you. The woman that I'm meeting with, the woman, the I'm meeting with uh, this woman named Allison Bornstein. You should follow her. She's really cool. She um, kind of shows you how you can create many different outfits and and helps you put together a closet that is lasting and. I'm meeting with her for lunch just for funsies because she lives around here and I've been following her and I really like her stuff. I don't know if I like this jacket. It's fine. But um, I don't know how we're going to work together or if we're going to work together. I really just wanted to connect with her and be her friend. Um, so that's who I'm meeting with for lunch. And I'm really struggling with my closet right now. I'm really unhappy with, I'm really unhappy with all my pants, to be honest. Like, I don't even really like these. This outfit's fine, but. And I'm also kind of sick of my bangs. I know they look good, but 
I just don't like taking care of things on my head. So I might grow them out for summer so that I can not have to care about bangs. I also want to like wear my hair back in like a slicked back pony. I just don't care enough. And like every time I look at my bangs, I'm like, I'm like they're fucked. They're fucked up. All right. <laughs> Kate's about to be here, and we are going over some fabric stuff, but I don't know if she's, oh, is this is her? No. Um, I don't know if we have time to film anything. We're going to this art gallery thing, and then we're going to a vinyl DJ thing. You know, all the LA stuff. Um, but just wanted to say goodbye. Hopefully you liked this home update. It was more just hanging out than updates, I would say. Um, but Kate's gonna be here any second, and maybe maybe we'll film some fabric stuff. But if not, goodbye and see you next week. Goodbye.